Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the NSB channel here today. In today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to integrate your Discord monitors from your cook groups within Discord to NSB. So let's jump straight into it. Now to get started, I think it's very important I do go ahead and explain what I'm wanting to is how it works within the cook group just so I can go from the basics. So if you guys are literally are new to the entire game and you guys want to learn, I'm going to teach you guys in a very, very summarized way. Essentially, I'm in a Discord, I'm in SF right now. This is monitoring Shopify unfiltered as you can tell by the channel name and at the top. As you can see, there's loads of items coming in. It's labeled through its site, so loads of items are coming in. So if I were to click this item here and I click trust this domain, it would take me to where the product is loaded on the website and this is very useful because it's better than me refreshing the links of these products until it comes in stock because it monitors the stock as it comes in stock as you, as you can see and I just came in so if I were to click this it would take me straight there so it's easier than manually monitoring it so these monitors are very very useful especially if you're a bot. Now within your cook group depending on how complicated the monitors are you guys can see the sizes that come in stock you can do the sizes in clothing as well and also you can do quick tasks which essentially launches the bot depending if you set it up with your monitors on your group so your bot can go ahead and cook the item. Now as you guys can see this feature is very very useful. It's very useful for botters, manual users, even if you don't have a bot it's very useful. However NSB has created a way to integrate these monitors from your favorite groups into the bot and use it in coloration with your tasks. So today's video is going to be about demonstrating how to do that. So to get started for you guys, I'm going to basically explain this to you guys in your point of view. You guys want to select a monitor within a cook group or a Discord group that you want to point to NSB. So in this case, I'm going to go to the SF group. I'm going to go to Shopify dash unfiltered. I'm going to integrate this monitor into NSB. So let's minimize this and go to the monitor section. As you guys can see, there is no monitors here. If you guys are doing this from your point of view, like I told you guys, I'm going to step by step show you guys exactly how to do it. It's very simple. So all you guys want to do is hit the Discord icon on the top right. As you can see, it's red. If it's red, it indicates I'm already logged in. If it's not red, don't worry. It's very simple. All you guys want to do is log into your Discord account. Once you guys do that, it's XR that and the logo will stay red. You don't always have to log on every time you log on to NSV. It does say but if it's ever not read, just go ahead and log into your Discord. It's a very simple process. Now, if you go to the left here, it says plus new monitor. Let's click that. It says create Discord monitor. So the first thing you guys are going to do is fetch all your servers. This essentially fetches all your servers. As you can see, servers fetched. If you add a server between now and the point of doing this, you guys can refresh your servers as well. As you guys can see on the bottom right, it fetches your servers once again. Now go ahead to the left here. As you guys can see, these are all the groups I am in. I want to go to SF, so I'm going to type in SF here and click the group. It analyzes the group and pulls all the channels. Then I want to select the channel, and we did talk about Shopify and filters. As you guys can see, that is a channel. If I go back to Discord here, that is a channel over there. So we have the channel in there, and we have the group in there. We click submit. Now, as you guys can see, you guys can add multiple monitors if you wish. However, I'm going to demonstrate it on one monitor, and you guys are free to do as you like. So as you guys can see, the counts one, the servers SF, the channel is Shopify unfiltered, all in coloration to what I showed you in Discord. Now the three options you have with each monitor are these. Now you can delete it, you can edit it. So if you want to choose a different time, you can do that also, and you can launch it. So if you click this. Is monitoring for new items so we're gonna wait here until a new item pops up as you guys can see an item has came up is the first item of the list so it did go red there the items here and if you head to discord the item is also there so it came through very nicely in this little box that so you can also resize as well depending how you like it now let's break down this mod this does look kind of complicated so we're going to break down the bomb options and then we're going to refer to the task section for the top section so as you guys can see you can enter your size it's very simple if you create a task in nsb before all you guys will do is button your sizes so like four five six seven but if you go for a clothing item then you'd go medium or you'd go small etc you guys know it's a very basic thing about clothing and shoes now for the billing profile essentially any billing profiles that you have within your nsb bot you can choose here to check out the item like I did mention before guys this is all in coloration with your NSB copies anything you have in here will pull over to this monitor so as you guys can see I only have one billing profile testing so that's the billing profile that I'm going to use now for proxy list all you guys want to do is click the proxy list of your choice I don't have any proxy list saved or loaded so if you guys want to add any go to the proxy section add a proxy list go through that entire process it's very simple for methods this is exactly the same as task you're going to do safe you can do that if you want to do fast you can do that if you want to do both, this creates two tasks of fast and safe. If you do Cyborg 3.0, that is also a mode as well. If you do checkout link, this essentially sends it to your Discord webhook, which can be configured in the profile section. Now for force capture, this is very simple, very simple idea to understand. For force capture, off is off, so it won't force a capture upon the item. 
on is when it simply forces the capture on and both is when it creates two tasks one with force capture on and one with force capture off as a precaution just in case moving to login this is very simple smart essentially pulls the account you bought in from the profile section if the account is in coloration to the site so as you guys can see this is dover street market let's say you had an account for that website theoretically this can be any site by the way then if the account in the profile section that you can configure and we will go over in just a second color to that website it will put it in on is essentially where you just log in and off is when you don't log in now that we broke this down i quickly want to go over the account section that we were just speaking about we head over to the profile section i've blurred out the things i need to if you guys want to click this you can configure your webhook as i did before if you want to test it you guys can test it it sends a test to your webhook as well and as for the account pool you want to hit this button and this essentially lets you put in your email and password one per line you just go ahead and put in your email like so so i'll put an email and then let's say my password is that you put the email in then a colon and then your password all in one line if you want to add another account you hit enter and do the same thing on the next line and click submit and it's saved as an email so if i were to go back there it's there but obviously that is not a real account so i'm going to head and delete that so now that we've broke down what's inside the actual monitor tab i'm going to show you how you can colorate it over to your task it's very simple guys i know this has been a bit complicated but obviously this process is very powerful. I've tried to break it down the best I can. Once again, if you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. I'll respond to the comments, ask some questions. If you have any other questions, refer to Discord and it will help best you there. Now, let's go over to the tasks. So in your task configuration, obviously you guys only want to click select the site. All These are all the sites that NSP currently supports. However, we're going to be using all auto create and start from all monitors using smart account pool that's risky once again referring back to my original point at the beginning of the video saying that this is risky if it's not done correctly so what you guys want to do is let's say i am looking for a specific item across every single shopify site so let's say i want some yeezy 350 blacks so i would type in that very loose keyword there let's say this is my billing profile of choice i click advanced just for this and let's say i want to use no proxy and let's say i want to check out link and i want a size five so i would click submit and as you can see, it becomes a blue task. This is kind of a colloquial term that users do use within NSB. A blue task is obviously, it looks blue. Now, the reason why it's a differentiation is because let's say if I were to do this on a random site, and just for example, I'm gonna put Yeezy in, for example, just to show you guys something. As you guys can see, if I were to run this task, it's yellow. That is the difference between a normal task and a blue task. A blue task is a monitoring task. This does not use any proxies, by the way. It uses the monitor and just literally looks at the monitor and looks for the item. However, a normal task when it goes yellow is using proxies, is going through the site unless you specified it not to. Now, going back to the original point here, the blue task is looking for Yeezy 350 Black in a size 5 with the testing billing profile with no proxies on all sites in coloration to the monitor. Now what I want to go ahead and do is break down one tile. One tile that looks exactly the same for every single item. As you can see, this blue task is going to keep going. I'm just going to keep it there in the background just so you guys understand. However, let's break down one tile. So essentially in a tile, it shows you the item that drops in coloration with a photo. So you guys know the item. So let's say you got confused with the names. You can see what it looks like. Then it shows you what time it dropped out with a timestamp and what time it got caught by the monitor. Then you have a couple of options at the top here. If you were to click this, it would open up the link. As you guys can see, it took me to the website with the uh, options to cart and stuff like that on this website, which is Palace. Now, more items are loaded in, but it literally does not matter. It's exactly the same for all tires. Well, let's say if I were to mass change my URLs, this is something that I'm going to touch upon at the last section, just because of the fact that there's a couple of things I need to preface. So don't worry, guys, I will go over it. I just want to go ahead and go over this first. So let's say I want to click copy. Let's say I'm running multiple bots and I want to click copy. If I click copy, it copies a link. So if I were to open up Notepad here, I would bring this over. As you guys can see, I have the link here. And just to test that this actually does work, let's go to Google and let's type in that. As you guys can see, if it gave me a second here, it will load to the site. And as you guys can see, it's in a different language, but that was I and that did load into the monitor. Now for the second to last thing of this entire tile, if you guys click the play button, as you guys can see, it creates a task with that item. And as you guys can see, obviously it didn't work because I'm using a testing profile. However, it creates a task. So let me just demonstrate that again. If I click this, it creates a task of that item. It goes through the entire process and obviously it's not gonna work because I'm using a testing profile, but that's essentially how that whole process works. Now let's say, for example, I'm into the monitor, the Hanon Shop site with the keyword Nike. I know that's very loose. I'm doing it for demonstration purposes. Obviously you wouldn't use that loose keywords. And let's say I want to use the monitor. Now I want to click this. 
you're losing coloration to the monitor however there's one feature obviously we have to click a burn profile here there's one feature that I'm going to show you guys that is very very good now I sense that becomes a blue task like I demonstrated before however let's say I'm monitoring the site and nothing's picked up yet and let's say the item that I do want did come up from the same uh, website that popped into the monitor let's say I wanted this t-shirt and I'm using that task to get that t-shirt now instead of copying the URL and then putting it in or using the edit all button down here and changing the link on all my tasks or if I were to simply just open this up and go to the website there is a quicker way and I want to go ahead and demonstrate that for you guys if you guys want to open up the monitor tab here literally if you click the mass change URLs button any task running on this website which is the one task there will change to this URL and go through the process so if we go ahead and go back here and literally just put in a size here that is one thing I forgot to do if you put in a size and let's say I want a medium so we're going to click submit as you guys can see medium the keyword is very loose that's just for the demonstration purposes the billing is testing proxy no proxy status monitoring hand and shop like I mentioned before if we go ahead and click mass change URL as you guys can see the link did get put in and it's going ahead and monitoring it now as you guys can see the product has changed to that URL and the task will run on that URL if it is restocking so let's say a product you're going for in your keywords just isn't good enough then obviously when using that mass change URL button in the monitor right over here your task will change that URL just making your task a lot more efficient and that's why it is very very useful for NSP users when you're using this monitor because there's a plethora of features at your disposal to use within your tasks so guys quickly before we end off today's video i do want to go ahead and talk about a couple of things i didn't mention in today's video There's a couple of features within the bot that i haven't really explained on the channel before i want to go into detail about it just for some new users or users that haven't really explored the capabilities of these features this part is very helpful i'm just going to name it our overview section let me know what you think about it down below in the comments i do like hearing your feedback i answer all questions about this down below as well however the one of the things i want to talk about which is the account pool the account pool in my opinion is a very 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 powerful feature within NSP I'm going to go ahead and explain where it is and essentially it helps with your blue tasks blue tasks is something we did mention in the video and essentially when I was referring to smart login that is when it pulls accounts from the account pool now the account pool if you imagine your heads a pool full of accounts that work across multiple sites the cut and the fine details with the account pool are the following I'll go ahead and explain it essentially when you're using the account pool it pulls random email and passwords in the formation I showed you in the video and one thing you need to keep in mind these email and passwords need to work across all support sites for NSB with the account pool and the support sites at the moment on the 23rd of the second is undefeated hand and shop toy wars exhibition babe france fear of god concepts the dark side initiative okium and the next door fr now those are all the support sites at the moment that will expand if you guys want to know about that go into the discord ask one of the support members or you can go to our email support at nightshoebot.com or contact us through a social media account we can also support you there if you have any questions regarding what sites have become more available with the smart login feature then that is the best way to do it however just going back to my original point there all those email and passwords need to work across all sites so manually you need to go to all those sites and make sure that your email and password has an account per email and password that you enter into the pool for undefeated and all those other sites if you want my personal opinion make sure your password is more than 12 characters long it has one uppercase letter and one special character this is because some websites have higher security measures when it comes to creating passwords in comparison to others so making sure your password is complicated allows you to make sure that your password works for all and you can maximize your smart login feature within your book. this part of the video is dedicated towards mass change urls this is a very very important feature within nsp if you guys listen to this you guys will learn the importance of it already existing nsp users definitely do agree with the team this feature is a very very strong feature to use whilst you're going for i am going to go ahead and explain to you guys you can explain how it works why you should be using it stuff like that so essentially to better explain it i want to go ahead and create a scenario here so let's say i'm running some yellow tasks on kiff.com for a certain item based on my keywords essentially when i start the tasks the tasks go through the checkout process and go past the queue so literally as soon as the item drops what it allows me to do is if my keywords are correct it goes through the process and it checks out like any normal bot would however let's say if the site messed around with the titling of the product and my keywords and my task in my yellow tasks didn't actually work and they didn't pick up the product and I saw that I am coming through the monitor 
I could start a task from the monitor. However, that task that does come through will have to go through the checkout process and the queue all again. However, the existing tasks with the keywords that didn't work because they were messing around with the titling of the products, if I were to inject a URL using the mass change URL feature which I showed you in the video, essentially it takes that URL and puts it into the tasks so you don't have to go through the queue and you don't have to go through the checkout process and you can automatically check out within a few seconds. Now the reason why this is so vital within drops, as you guys may know, if you guys are experienced bottles that you've bought before, timing is everything. These products go out in literally seconds so if you don't utilize this feature and you go ahead and start it from the monitor, you might not get this iron. So I definitely, definitely recommend maximizing your success with this feature in NSB for future drops. And finally, now that we're talking about Blue Task, it is important to remember that Blue Task lets you auto start tasks via keywords from any Shopify site, from any Discord mod that you have integrated into the bot without any human interaction at all, whether that's from you or anyone else, you, there is no human interaction needed. To maximize your chances of copying even more, make sure you have a good couple of Gmails with quick one clicks and also pair that with the smart login feature to maximize your utilization of NSB and I'm 100% confident you guys will have success now i think that concludes today's video if you guys did enjoy please drop a like if you guys are new here if you guys are watching that content and you haven't subscribed yet please do that turn on the notification bell to see all the content that's coming to the nsb channel and also check out the previous content i'm gonna make it my role here at nsb to push out content on a somewhat frequent basis if you guys have any ideas for videos leave comments down below i have a lot of content coming i'm gonna catch you guys next time peace out